tonight, a bride-to-be upset after thieves took off with dresses for her wedding. Good evening, I'm Lisa Bell. And I'm Matt Austin. Her family actually jumped in and tracked the suspects down, but those dresses are still nowhere to be found. Sashel Saunders is live in Sanford with the Crime Tracker Alert. Sashel. Yeah, Matt and Lisa, by chance, the groom and his friends spotted the teenage thieves pumping gas into the stolen car right here at this gas station on French Avenue. They thought this whole wedding dress nightmare was over until they looked inside the car. Panic setting in just two weeks before this woman's fairy tale wedding and someone steals her sister's car and the four bridesmaid dresses inside. And the one that hurts me the most, my mother's mother of the bride gown. Both the bride and groom were afraid to be named because in a strange twist, the groom spotted those thieves in the car, cornering them at a Sammy's Food Mart gas station. And they looked at me and they said, yo, what are you doing? And I said, get out of the car, and that's when they all ran. The 15-year-old driver was caught by police. The car beat up. The dresses? They weren't there. They just crushed her, and that was hard for me to see. More than $1,000 spent, now gone, and not much money to replace them with just days left until the big day. They affected not only one person, they affected a whole family who worked very hard to, to plan a wedding and to purchase the gowns. The young couple now heartbroken. It's just really disheartening and it's just, it makes me think, why would somebody do that? Now we're hoping that we can get results for this bride and groom that maybe someone's found those dresses here in Sanford but didn't know who they belonged to. If not, she did set up a GoFundMe page. You can find that on clickorlando.com. Reporting live in Sanford, Sashel Saunders, News 6. Sashel, thank you.